the gift that instead of giving just continues to disappoint for Disney Star Wars. From the very first episode, it was pretty clear that not as many people were interested in this as they'd hoped. It's clear Lucasfilm and Disney put a lot into Ahsoka, massive marketing campaign, moved the time up to try to make it a prime time event, even had these big fan events and theatrical screenings, stuff like this. And it did not pay off. That first episode of Ahsoka was a massive disappointment. 1.2 million households over the first six days. Obviously, the Samba TV numbers are only really comparable to other Samba TV numbers, but a very weak opening compared to the, what, 2.1 million over the first three or four days for mm -hmm. Obi-Wan, 1.9 million for Book of Boba Fett over that same six-day time period, even worse than the 1.6 million that tuned in to Mandalorian season three. But they hoped that, hey, maybe we'll get some more interest in these characters. Maybe the Anakin episode will get people hooked, all this shit. Well, we got the finale numbers, Jeremy. And uh, instead of more people tuning in, less people tuned in. About Ooh. a 30% drop-off for the Ahsoka finale compared to the premiere. Now, a lot of things still need to be connected between then. We don't know what this viewing was. Say for something like episode five, the Anakin-heavy episode, those Nielsen ratings should be coming out at some point. I think there'd be a little bump there. But obviously, it was not enough to save this series or to get anybody else interested in it. And now you've got a massive drop-off for the finale of Ahsoka that didn't have a lot of people even engaged in the first place. Yeah, this show is a failure. And there's no other way. It doesn't mean you can't like it. It doesn't mean that it can't work for you. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that it is a failure. It did not accomplish what they wanted it to accomplish. And if you actually do know anything about Ahsoka or Clone Wars or Rebels, you kind of knew that it was never going to be what they hoped it would be and what they were promoting it to be. And this is kind of, she is who we thought she was, which is a popular character and a small group of fans within the, the bigger Star Wars universe. And there's nothing wrong with that. But Disney decided we've ruined everything. And now we're going to have to put all of our hopes and dreams into Ahsoka and Dave Filoni. And it was never going to be what they wanted it to. So they deserve it. They deserve exactly what's happened. Yeah, really, I think the only thing that this is better than in terms of where it started to where it ended with a drop off like that is actually Mando season three, which is God awful. You know, it, it had slightly more people tune into the finale than Mando season three did. And that's probably one of the worst things they've produced, to be honest with you. But even things like Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi, the reception was not good for those series. And they lost a, a much less percentage of viewership. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, 2.1 million people in the premiere, 1.8 million in the finale. Book of Boba Fett, 1.9 million people at the premiere, 1.6 million people at the finale. Whereas Ahsoka lost about 30% of its audience, 350,000 plus from not even a very good starting point. Mm -hmm. So very, very rough for them. We'll see what happens with these Nielsen ratings. The fact that through four episodes, they're nowhere in the top 10 is in and of itself a failure. The fact they're barely hanging on to a seventh spot in original programming is kind of devastating for them when you put that much money and that much focus on promoting this premier Disney Plus series that you have right now. I've always maintained, I think, episode five, those should come out, the numbers should come out later today. I think when it updates for episode five, we'll see a bump because it's the Anakin episode, people rewatching it, even if more people didn't tune in, I think people will rewatch it. But I don't know. Uh, it's been a pretty big disappointment for them so far. And these numbers just confirm everything we've said uh, about mm. Disney Star Wars. This is Disney Star Wars. This is what they've done. This is this is what you have to look forward to if you still have any faith in what they're doing. And again, I would be clear as I can be. It's okay if you like it. It's okay if it works for you, but it's not working for the bigger story of what Star Wars needs to be. And they're failing miserably 